out to pray today, but no one was listening anymore. Do I need to fade away or stay here laying down on the floor? I want to know if you beat the shoulder that I need. I want to go to take me to Neverland. find a way where is the god that i need can i get some help today lord help me with the blood that i bleed i want to know if you beat the shoulder that i need i want to go so take me to neverland to pray today but no one was listening anymore do i need to fade away or stay here laying down on the floor i want to know if you beat the shoulder that i need i want to go so take me to neverland today lord help me with the blood that i bleed i want to know if you beat the shoulder that i need i want to go so take me to neverland I knelt 
to pray today, but no one was listening anymore. Do I need to fade away or stay here laying down on the floor? I want to know if you beat the shoulder that I need. I want to go to take me to Neverland. Today, Lord, help me with the blood that I bleed. I want to know if you beat the shoulder that I need. I want to go to take me to Neverland. to pray today but no one was listening anymore do i need to fade away or stay here laying down on the floor i want to know if you beat the shoulder that i need i want to go to take me to neverland Today, Lord, help me with the blood that I bleed. I want to know if you beat the shoulder that I need. I want to go to take me to Neverland.
Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this afternoon's action for the Meta High School League for Rocket League. My name is Chris the Average. I'm being joined here by my co caster for this afternoon's game, NC. NC, how are you going, mate? Good, thanks, Chris. It's going to be an awesome game as we uh, see the OC going up against HSC. Strong lineup by both of these teams, and as you can see, they're joining in now. So we're going to get this first out of the best of three series underway. We wait for all the players to join on in. And this shall be a very awesome and exciting game as we see that first kickoff coming down. And now it's going to go in the favour. No one's going to be out in the midfield. They're unstable. We're waiting for this one high up in the air for that. Does get a bump and a touch on that. Sends money out the way as well. As now a shot comes out here from Unstable, but uh, not being able to get a right touch for that one as E-Tang sending that one down towards the orange net. It's going to be a 1v1 here, but he does uh, get defended away. And send that back down towards the blue side of the field and a nice defense shot there, but it's not oh, well. No. A own goal coming oh. out here as we see Patrick picks up that goal from last touch, but uh, it was a, I think it was E-Tang that maybe hit that one in. Let's see if I'm corrected. Oh, that is... um. Disgusting to say the very least. Etang knocks it in and then Mini somehow knocks it back as well. Just before Nozzy or Nozinator could just get it away and well an odd way to get your first goal, but there it is. OC on the board. in the lead. It's on the board now and it's sticking as we see the ball now up high on that left side of the blue net as we see Nozinator going up. Does get a clear for that one, sends it back on to, into, in towards the midfield. We do see now a play coming out here from Rafka as he tries to take that one away there, but E-Tang sends that one down towards the, back into the midfield from Unstable there as he sends that towards the net from E-Tang and a shot here and he's going to grab that one. It's going to be 1-1 one, one, and they tie it up there from their mistakes. Four minutes and 11 seconds on the clock left, Chris. And that was a beautiful goal and yes, four minutes and 11 seconds left. A lot to go in for this best of three series, but just look at E-Tang. That was, ball was perfectly set up for him. He just had to go straight through the guts and that's the equalizer, one all. Eagle the scores up as we get on into this next play here. Etang getting a slight touch there. Sends it to the right hand side. It looks like it's going to be Batrix is heading that one up and to the midfield here. And now it's going to be open there for it's going to be up. And we're going to see Etang go up and he's going to take oh. miss that one. And that could be on, but it's going to hit the side post. And Nozan had to get a nice save there, but a shot to come out as well for Rafka. Rafka not being able to take that one. Etang to defend this one out. Does try and get possession of the ball here. Has no burst. Oh, and one pass, one defender. Can he get past the second? Not able to get past that second Rafka there. But he is going to reverse it. Unstable to try and grab this one. Just gets that. Takes the boost up along the wall here. He's going to go for the shot. Gets bumped by his own teammate. As Miney now try and get possession of this ball. No boost in hand for him. Off the wall. HSC trying to send this one down towards the orange net. Etang to get it over. One defender sets it up. Etang needs to get a touch. It's all it's all set up here still for Etang. Can he get a right touch here? But it's going to set back down in towards that midfield. As you see, Miney now going for that one. But a defender there to take that one away. Miney get bumped all over the field here. Ravka, sorry, I believe it's unstable now with the ball. Trying to get a ball on that. Boost picked up there from Etang. It's going to be set in front of the in front of the net here, and a shot comes out, but it's going to go wide. Goes wide here as the ball's still in the attacking third. It has been a bit of an odd start to the game. He obviously got that own goal before NC was able to line up a beautiful goal. But yeah, both teams double committing, having a few tricky situations as the shot goes in, and Entang scores a pretty easy goal. Etang taking that. Etang taking that shot there with that just an open touch there. As he sets that one up, wasn't really open, I guess. There was two oh. defenders there, just beats it right down the middle and uh, able to score that one off his back wheel. Yeah, no one went off of that ball. That is very surprising. Maybe the lags got to him, the ping was just not right for him. Who knows? But yeah, that's a bad way to give out your second goal. Back into the action, and the ball's high up in the air. We see Etang tried to go for that one, sends himself back down. It's going to be back in front of that blue net, and Ozanator now to try and take that one towards the midfield. Does beat one defender. Can he beat a second? He does, and his teammates there to back him up as well. 1v1 situation here. Can he get it? He's not able to send that one. Rafgar is able to defend that one, put it back in towards the midfield, but it looks like it's going to be Etang to set that one back up for Miney. Miney might, might go up for that one, but Etang calls it, and Miney to set this one back in. Does get a touch on it, sends it over, but he's going to have no boost to try and get there. Going to be back, that trick, sorry to be able to take that one down. He's going to follow this as well, and a shot there to come up, and unfortunately not able to grab that one. Nozinator in the defensive play. Raf got to try and set that one back. Does come off the side wall there, but Etang sets this one up for his team, and the teammates there, can they get the touch? They're able to get it, and it's Nozinator putting that one in. 3-1 with two minutes and five seconds on the clock. And once again, a good set play there from the side of HSC. Able to just line it up just towards the near post, and then Nozinator able to just slot it through. And another thing to point out, OC Gaming, once again, 
just not having anyone in the goals really able to defend. They definitely need to improve on that going forward as the score for currently 3-1. to one. I'm not going to say anything too bad about HSC, Chris, but it looks like they're lacking as well in their areas. Both teams lacking in their areas, but HSC somehow managing to still pull through that defense and able to take out shots like they just did. Yeah, definitely. It just feels like this is a bit of an odd game. Obviously, over the past few weeks, we have seen a lot of aerial work in these games, and it's been great to see, but today, yeah, definitely a lot more ground focus and... It just feels like an odd game. I mean, we're seeing a lot of plays without boost as well. It's big. Oh, that thought there, Chris E. Tang going for the save. Oh, and he's not oh, able to get it. And Matrix putting that one in. They're going to try and level the score here in game number one. And hopefully, make it go to game number three. A minute, 28 seconds left on the clock here. And it looks like the OC oh, boys are getting back in this one, Chris. They definitely are. A good shot there from, um, <coughs> excuse me, from Matrix there just to line it up. The defense just faltering for a quick moment. And... That's the second goal on the board here for OC, but yeah, as I was saying, it definitely feels like a bit of a weirder game. No one really controlling in the air, and that's just giving up a lot of opportunities, really. A set up here for the HSC boys, and he's going to get that one in! Oh! He's staying with the double tap as he goes upside down. I don't think he meant that one, but he sends it up on the wall here. You see him get bumped as well, and he just flicks that one in with the bottom of his wheels. Yeah, he was not expecting that goal there. Beautiful work to try and get it off the side, off the back bar as well. And um, yeah, just got helped a little bit there by the um, OC defenders. And that's, well, that's an odd way to pick up your fourth ball, but I'm pretty sure he'll be happy to take it. Unstable now with the boost as well. Does get bumped away from that boost, actually. Not able to take that. It looked like Etan was able to grab that one instead. Nozanada trying to get the defensive play away, but the shot does come out. It's going to be wide there. We're going to see Ruff go now. Oh, he gets a touch on this. And this could be set up very well for his team. But apparently, it's going to get set back away from Noisenator. Miney now as well to follow that one. He's going to wait for it. I'm not sure what he's doing. As he sends this one towards that left side of the field. There is going to be Noisenator to set that one up. No burst as he leaves that one go. But it looks like Etang's going up for that. Missed the aerial there. Miney to follow this one up. It's going to be an open net. No, it's going to be a defender back as well. Noisenator up the wall again. And a defensive play there coming out from the Patrick man himself. As Miney gets de demoed. Now we see Nozanator lead this one for his teammate. It's going to be up in the air. Is anyone up for it? No one's up there, but it looks like someone's going up. But Miney not being able to get a touch for that. Yeah, no one going up once again. And 15 seconds remaining, it looks like it will be a 4-2 scoreline to finish things up. We might see a late attack here coming out just to confirm the result as they do go for it. Ball's up high in the air on that orange side. Attack comes out there from e -Tang. And a play here could get it in. One up. And it's still up here. It's still staying up. But they're not going to get it. It's going to hit the ground. And we're going to be 4-2 to the HSC boys. Yeah, 4-2 for Holy Spirit. Good game for him here. Especially for Nausea and e -Tang. They did do a lot of work. Mini, pretty quiet, but was there at the important moments. And, yeah, that's how the cookie crumbles in the first game. A lot of ground ball action. Not a lot in the air. We did see e -Tang go up for it every now and again but yeah not a um to, not a um aerial based game say at the very least you see e tang and nozanator there solid scores from both of those players but uh Miney falling back there on his team i guess he was a bit of a support there as uh you see e tang he's the only one i've ever seen up on go up for the hsc aerials there and uh the oc boys i haven't really been seeing them go up as you said they're not really you know, taking it to the air, I guess you could say. They're just keeping it level-headed you know, level on the ground and, and trying to play the ground ball, but it's not really working in their defense because uh, HSC take out that one four two. Yeah, if they had a better aerial game or any aerial game, really, we probably would have seen a completely different scoreline, but unfortunately, there were just too many errors for them. I mean, we obviously saw their defense wasn't the um, best we've seen so far in the um, Meta High School League in this year, and... It showed, really. 4-2. And a couple of shots that went waning for HSC. Definitely could have been a lot more as we're already into Game 2. No, that's like you said, we're in Game 2 for the action here on the HSC versus the OC, boys. Let's see if the OC can pick it up. They played very well in the first game, but we'll see this guy coming out. It's going to go straight over the defenders. And as I say, they're playing very well. The HSC, boys, pick up their first goal with only 8 seconds in the game. Nozanator able to get the back flip there. Or, sorry, the front flip. And, well... That was an easy ball to save, realistically, but everyone whiffed, and eight seconds in, the first goal already for HSC. I guess it's better than over-committing for that one, but the ball's going up now as we see one player in the defense side there trying to take that one down with Z-Tang as he sets that one back. 
But uh, it is high up in the air here for that blue side. They want to try and get this away as Nozinator now retreats back for the boost. Does get it stolen by his teammate. He's going to wait for this one. They send that out. It's going to be centered here. Are they going to pick up a goal? No, it's going to be too wide for Rafka as he sets that one. But he's going to wait for this one. He's got the play there, but I'm not sure what happened. His teammate went for the ball when that was clearly Rafka's shot. As you see Nozinator now, he's going to try and get the defensive play. Tuck this one away. He's able to send it down to that left side. Pick up the boost along the way as well. And his teammates there. Bump him out the way. Over one defend. Over two. Can he take a third? He might be. But no, Batrix is going to be able to get that save and set it out. As Rafka now waiting for the ball. He is going to set this one back for e -Tank. Says, I'll take this one. And there's a defender hiding away in the net there. As e -Tank will follow this one. And he'll probably try to get the backflip. But it's going to go down the net. But Nozinator is there to try and defense that one. Sets it up into the midfield. Up in the air here now for Mighty. Is he going to go up? He's just going to wait for it. He jumped too late on that one as e -Tank tries to help his teammate out here. Miney gets a bump on it. Can it go in? It's not going to be able to, but he'll stop at dead center. And if there's a defender not there, this might go in, but oh. a nice touch there from Nozinator sets it to the left side. A good save there from Nozinator, and that's probably the big key in this game. We're seeing a lot of better defense coming out from HSC, while for OC, really, it's only Batrix doing any real work, and when he's on the goals, it just looks too easy for HSC. HSC playing very well, and you can see the communication. You don't even need to be in a voice chat with them to know that they're communicating with their team. They just, you know, there's only one player going for the ball in a one-player situation, as uh, opposed to the OC boys, where two or three players are committing to the ball. But we see Nozinator now chasing this one down with Unstable. Unstable trying to set this one off the wall. He's able to get that one away there. It's going to set up here, right in front of it. There's no defenders there. Can he get it over for wide? Unfortunately, the man himself, Batrix, not be able to set this, but he sets his teammate back up for one again, and it's up again. Batrix can go up for this one and get the right shot, but he's not going to. Unstable will set this one up in front of the net, but there's no players there to back him up. It's going to go left of the net. Batrix, try and go back and forth from this one. It sets back into the midfield. Batrix, with the someone with the shot, sorry, Etang with the shot, and it looks like Rafa able to send that one up and put that one in the defense. Nozinator now to chase this one down the field. Etang will hang that one over to the right. As you see a touch there coming out. One defender in the net. e to set this one, but it's going to be Nozinator to try and pull this one back up. He's able to get the double touch there as well. But Patrick not being able to get a shot there to put this one back, but it's going to be unstable to follow this one down. And he gets bumped by his own teammate. And there was no defender there. There was an open net, but it's an open net still. And Patrick's able to pull that one in. It's 1-1 one, one now. And it's two minutes and 17 seconds left. What kind of play was that, Chris? Matrix is basically just said to his teammate, this is my goal, get out of the way. He does that and then HSC, they had every right to stop that ball, but they all commit, they all get in each other's way and, well, a odd way to pick up the first goal here for OC, but Matrix will be more than happy with that. Odd way indeed, but I guess it's... Uh... One all on that scoreboard now, and they're in this for game number two, and hopefully to go to game number three. As you see, Rafka getting a nice defensive play there, but there's no, it doesn't look as any defenders back, but no time for that because Etang's already up on the ball there to set this one up for his teammate, and it's going to be a touch there, and it could be an own goal here, but Etang is able to stop that as he sends that one up the wall, missing the boost as well, misses the wall shot, comes, does come down, and another miss comes out, but Batrix will set this one up for himself and tries to tuck it away, but it looks like Nozinator able to get that save and high down the end there. Can they get a touch to oh. save it? Yes, they are, but there's a defense. A defensive play there, and they might be able to save that one. But Batrix, nice double save there from him. As we watch now, Etang just waiting for that ball. Batrix now trying to set this one. Here's Etang's shot. He goes for it. It's up high, and now it's going to be in front of the net. He's able to tuck it away. Batrix that sends it over to the left side. Yeah, good work there from Batrix. Aris Etang, he just finds himself an open goal, and well, that was pure bliss for him now. Let's look at the replay automatically. Batrix unable to get the touch. Etang. Quick on the handbrake, able to turn very quickly, and then he just has to pop it into the center. The defensive OC, non-existent, as Hot Holy Spirit College regain the lead. As soon as I finish talking, they pick up that extra goal. As I just said, that they were playing so well and constructed there for the OC boys, but they just unfortunately pull off a mistake there. But nevertheless, they're still in this one. It's only one goal up with one minute to go. As we see, Batrix now waiting for this one, but Etang's there as well. Sets it up high. Now they need to play the defense here and get the sorry, get the attack shot in. As they send this one back down towards that orange net there. Now Mighty's there and the shot comes in from Mighty and he's going to take that one. It's 3-1, Chris. It doesn't look like the OC boys are pulling their heads away and the HSC are putting their heads down, thumbs up and going straight in. Oh, definitely indeed. Mini getting a nice little shot there. Just helped by the um, defender once again from OC. But first goal of the game there for Mini. He'll be more than happy, He'll be more than happy with that as HSC, well, they look like they're going to pick up the win 2-0. 
see the players now coming out. Amani now waiting for the ball. Has that little boost there. He's going to pull back and go for the defense. But Nozinator will sit there and wait oh. for this one. This one's high up in front of the net here. They need to get a touch away. But it's going to be Eddie Tang flying in from halfway. And he picks that one 4-1 with 44 seconds on the clock. And it's sad to say, but I think this is all over for the OC. Yeah, there's no real way to put it there. Unstable just not knowing what to do. He couldn't go up. He went too low, too wide. He was a complete non-factor in the goals. And HSC, well, Etang had probably the easiest job. Just tap it in. And that's another goal. 4-1 this game. As he said, orbit over. Etang now setting this up in the midfield. Gets the shot, but unable to take that one. But he'll wait for it as well. And it's going to go back down in towards that blue half. Maybe it's not all over yet. Maybe the OC boys have one goal left in them. But Nozanet is not going to let them get play on that ball. He sets it up for himself too. And a shot might come out here and a pitch shot. But no, there's no defender there in time to be able to tuck that one away. Yeah, no, I'm just there in time. It was a bit too wide for the mark, but 10 seconds remaining might not make any difference whatsoever here. This ball will more than likely stay in the midfield, you would think, and that will be the game 2-0. Your victors, Holy Spirit Carl, College. HSC taking this one out in game number two, unfortunately. The OC boys playing a lot better in game number one, and it's just like their heads fell through their way there on game number two. As we see now, the HSC boys picking up the victory 4-1. And Nozanator being the MVP there. Only with those three shots. If he could get them on, it would have been a, a sensational gameplay there by Nozanator. But he wasn't able to pick those ones up. But Chris, other than that, mate, I think that's going to do it for us. But what would you say about the performance of uh, OC in game number two? Patrix was definitely the linchpin, especially in the goals. But when he wasn't there, Rayfield and Unstable. Rayfield had a few highlights, but realistically, they weren't the best goaltenders. We saw a lot of goals go in. I've few missed excuse me, through miscommunication or just a simple misplay. Definitely need to improve on that, but they don't have a lot of time. This is the second last week of um, the state season. So once that's done, we're going to tiebreakers and the playoffs and the state grand finals. And then once we hit that point, we're going to the nationals. But the question is, are we going to see either of these teams at that stage? I wouldn't say so. HSC, while they did get the win, definitely they definitely have a fair few issues. And if they come up against a team like... Let's say maybe Kaima, which we watched in um, get on week one, they would more than likely get picked apart. But yeah, as you said, NC, this is all but over for us. So thank you for joining us here at Meta High School for League once again for another Thursday. We'll be back at 3 p.m. Australian Eastern State or Standard Time, sorry, <laughs> next Thursday. But from NC and myself, Chrissy Average, thank you so much and have a good night.